Who would I be if it weren't for you leaving comments about hair loss? Who would I be? I would have an identity crisis. I made a video called, you will go bald once you become a dad? Question mark, extra stress? Question mark, dot, dot, dot. Blacklisted is the person who left this comment and I'm very excited to answer it. Here we go. Quote, hi Nick and all in this community. Thank you for all you do. What are your thoughts as regards to hair transplants? My rationale being that as a good looking 28 year old on the verge of what looks like some pretty significant recession, I feel like I'm going from hero to zero. This will sound so vain, callous and mean spirited, but I'm really trying to be honest when I say I've spent most of my 20s staying fit and healthy and abiding by a really strict gym routine so that looks have become one of my biggest assets in life. Losing my hair is therefore perhaps more significant than it might be to an ugly guy who is maybe not forfeiting so much by going bald. By the same token, I feel as though I've got more to gain than most by opting for a surgical option. It's easy to say that looks don't matter and in the scheme of things they probably don't, but at age 28 and living in a very looks oriented society and industry, I want to do all I can to retain them. I understand the risks and that the transplant should usually be undertaken in conjunction with a course of Propecia or Minoxidil and that these can have some quite pernicious side effects. But equally, I've been told by doctors that you can experiment with the medications to find one that works for and that only about 10% of men ever experience the adverse effects, namely sexual dysfunction. Anyway, I very much appreciate you taking the time to read this and would love to hear your thoughts. Also, hope I'm not sounding lambasting for sounding the way I do. All right, end quote. And here's what I gotta say, I almost fell over. Here's what I gotta say. Uh, I don't think any of this is crossing the line or you know sounding Vain. Actually, I think it's a very honest representation of how a lot of guys feel. And I, I have nothing but empathy for blacklisted. Uh, some things that stand out to me in this. I've said before, I'm an average looking guy and my looks have nothing to do with the success I've found in life. I'm an average looking guy and I've never had to depend on my looks for anything because I'm a creative individual. So it's all about my personality and what I do. That's how I, I personally get ahead in my, in my life, okay? So looks have, has it's just not been relevant to that. But putting myself in his situation, if everything was built around that, I can, I can imagine how he must feel. Uh, so, yeah, I just, I, I appreciate the honesty. I really do. Now, here's my response. My response is, for Blacklisted, that he, probably should go ahead and get that hair transplant. Now that may sound shocking to some of you who know the message that I preach, uh, that as a balding advocate, I'm fine with going bald. I don't want to take Propecia or get a hair transplant. I accept my identity as balding and bearded. Um, that's me though. Remember that I'm a libertarian. So I do what's right for me. I let other people do what's right for them. As long as it's not hurting somebody else, do what works for you. Do what works for your identity. And I can imagine for Blacklist, his identity absolutely is, his hair is a major part of that. Even more so than an emotional thing, it's part of what it sounds like. He says the, in the industry is working. I'm sure I don't know what it is, but I don't know. I mean, I, I, if Ryan Seacrest didn't have the perfect genes he has and had the Norwood one, you know, if he started going bald, I could understand why he would do that. For certain people, it, I can see how that, that matters. Um, so even though I personally don't relate, I can totally understand where he's coming from. And I just want to be clear too that uh, even though I personally have zero interest in getting a hair transplant, um, I got to say the people that I've spoke to who have had hair transplants, well, here's what's, here's what's interesting about them. They all have in common. They're all very proud of it. I mean, they don't go around talking about it openly, but if I get in a, in a private discussion with them, the look on their face, they're proud. You know, they're, ju they're just as proud to have gotten that hair transplant as I am proud to be balding and bearded. It's, it's the same thing, because either way, it's part of their identity just as much as this is part of my identity. If I got a hair transplant, I would be depressed because I would feel like a phony. I'd feel like this isn't me, this is icky. But for someone who really wants that, 
it's the opposite. They, they find this sense of peace and happiness and confidence. So that's what I want you to know about me as a, as a YouTuber host. It's all about emotional intelligence. It's not about doing what's right for everybody. It's about doing what's right for that individual to enhance uh, their identity. So that's why all the other videos I'm saying, just accept it and go bald, it's okay. Just be confident instead. But while that's my mainstream baseline message, I'm here to cater to everybody and help anyone I can as they're dealing with hair loss. So my personal solution is not gonna be the same for everybody. This guy, blacklisted, it sounds like honestly the deal's already made in his mind. This is what he's going to do. He's just looking for some extra confirmation. But reading into Blacklisted's identity as far as understanding what matters to him and where he's coming from, it, yeah, I would, I would say, yeah, do it. Do it. I, I don't think that you'll be disappointed. I mean, just go to a, a reputable place, get it done right. And, and I totally understand why you wouldn't want to also take the Propecia as well because of the side effects. Um, I've heard they're not as high as 10%, but either way, that's not something that I personally would play around with all. Even if there was a 1% chance, I wouldn't even risk it personally. Uh, the last person I talked to that had a hair transplant was also taking Propecia. Uh, they were like in their mid-50s their mid though. So that's my, my response. For this particular person, it sounds like he needs to get a hair transplant uh, for his identity. Uh, you have to do what's right for you. I'm a balding advocate who is here to also uh, in, uh, cater to what I call hair loss helpers. Certain people, they need to save their hair. That's important to them, and I'm here to help them. I'm here to help all of you, wherever you're at in this journey through hair loss. I care about you, and I'm not gonna tell you to do what's right for me. Instead, you gotta do what's right for you.